Hey everyone, this is FaZe. Welcome back to my channel. For the longest time ever since I started my YouTube channel, I've been doing videos on Kindles and what Amazon is coming out with. And everyone's been asking me since day one to unbox and review the Kobo Sage. And guess what guys? This is the Kobo Sage and I'm actually really excited to unbox this and review it. This is the first time I'm going to be using an e-reader that is not a Kindle. So I'm quite excited about this naturally, but more than that, I think it's gonna be great for my viewers who've really been wanting for me to review this. Today, I'm just gonna be unboxing it, and then over the next few days, I'm gonna be using it, and then after that, I'll give you my full review. But without any further ado, let's unbox this thing. So here it is, the box the Kobo Sage comes in. So let's flip this around. On the back, it lets us know that this is an eight inch e-ink Canta 1200 display that it's waterproof, has the Comfort Light Pro feature, which is basically the ambient light. And we can listen to audiobooks. We get an optional stylus to take notes on. Um, but anyways, now let's open this bad boy up. Inside, we are greeted with the Kobo Sage itself and a quick start guide. Here it is guys, the Kobo Sage, but let's come back to this in a second. Here we have the charging cable and yes, it is USB-C. So that's pretty much it for the unboxing. Now let's take a look at the device. So right off the bat, I'm just gonna say this, I'm very impressed with the way Kobo has designed this device. Because when you hold it, it, it feels premium, it feels nice. There is a little bit of a weight to it, but it doesn't feel heavy at all. And at the same time, the one thing I never really liked about the Oasis, I didn't really like how there was that hump on the back. So you had the, you know, the Kindle Oasis, you have this hump, which they say is easier for you to hold on to and then it, there's more weight distributed on that side so it's easier to hold on to than the rest of the device. I never liked it, but with this, they've done something interesting. What they've done with the Kobo Sage is that kind of like a MacBook Air, they've made this teardrop design. So it has a thick point and it, as you go through it and look at it, it becomes thinner. So it's pretty nice. And once again, it's got the buttons that you also have on the Oasis. The one thing that I immediately noticed was the screen size. It's an eight inch screen. If you compare that to the Oasis, that has a seven inch screen. And this feels much larger. And if I were to compare this to the new Paperwhite, it feels way larger. If anything, when I looked back at my Paperwhite, it looked really small and that has a 6.8 inch screen. So I'm really digging this eight inch display. And at the same time, I really like this back. It just it's this nice texturized rubber material. Um, I'll give more details on this back in my full review, but whatever it is, I really like it. Um, but yeah, this is just my first impression of it. So far, I'm liking the size of the display. I like the way it feels in the hand, but of course, in my full review, I'll go over what the reading experience is like. So stay tuned to that. Until then, see you next time.